Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is part 2 of my mini-series called Zoe Patel Runs All. This whole series was inspired by a glitch that happened in my game where Zoe just went off the map in Noisy Springs and currently uh, she left her husband and son. She divorced her ex-husband at this point, Mitchell, in the first episode and now she went a little bit like, crazy and she decided to go to jungle adventure to do a jungle adventure in Salvadorada together with the mini series inspired by the glitch it's also a review for the jungle adventures because I recently got this pack to review in my randomizer wheel that I do in order to understand which pack I should review next and in order for me to get the new pack I need to finish this um, and I need to learn more about this pack I didn't find a better way to do it rather than actually finishing the aspiration that comes with Jungle Adventures, which is called Jungle Explorer. And we are currently on the first part of it still. We need to examine three traps and we need to travel deep into the Belomisia jungle. We still haven't reached it and this is something we're going to do today. She is actually homesick from being away from home, which is not really true uh, because she is not homesick. She is fine. Well, anyhow, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and without further ado, let's jump right into the episode 2. So this is our little bungalow. It comes with the base game. I did modify it a little bit by adding the easel here and this archaeolo archaeological thing here, but apparently you cannot use it. Uh, if you don't own it. But for the rest, it's pretty cool and I really like it. I actually love the builds in this world, but I will modify them slightly. And I also love all the trees that we get in this pack. I didn't speak about it, but it's true. I like the black beans that we have, we have avocados, and we have many other things that are pretty cool. But let's start by going to the marketplace. We met a lot of sims in this world. So the game generates really a lot of NPCs, which is quite fun. And at the end, I really like that you can meet a person, sometimes randomly, in different paths of the jungle. Like in different areas of the jungle, there will be sims. And it's also pretty cool, and I quite enjoy it. Because it means you're not traveling alone. I guess it's quite realistic. Because I was preparing for a very lonely journey. I need to get Salvadorian culture up as well. And let's have this arepa di pabellon again, because when you eat stuff, you can also learn to cook it in future. We also spent a lot of money here buying those random things, but I guess we will need them. So I'm trying to buy as many as possible of everything. Let's see our skills quickly. So archaeology is level 2 and Salvadorian culture is... And Salvadorian culture is level 3 currently. Alright, so we leveled up and now we're level 4 of Salvadorian culture. Zoe has picked up new moves to try on the dance floor. She has also earned enough trust to inquire, inquire about local myth. This is super fun and I'm gonna try the local myth immediately. Inquire about local myth. Okay, let's do that. Will she say something? Oh, she didn't say anything. Okay. So there are Omiskan treasures. And it looks like it's frogs, for example. And then there are some plates. And then there are ancient Omiskan treasures. We also have zero of those. But all those toys that we buy, they are not part of the collections, which is quite sad. And they're basically just three colors of the same. So this one can be sold, this one can be sold, this one can be sold, this one can be sold. Let's see if she can cook actually, if she can cook the Salvadorian one that she learned. Yes, here it is. Ah, she can do many of them. Everything she tried she can do. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's do pastel de caramel. I didn't know she could, you can cook on the angle. I love this together. I didn't think that they, they would match. I only use the sink in the bathroom, but those matching. Nice. She's ready to go. I am excited for this. Let's travel. Because in the jungle, actually, in this hour, it's already quite light. It's getting dark about 6 p.m. there. I'm happy we don't have any deadly virus <laughs> and we are able to proceed with the rest of the travels. So we go again to Belanesia, well, to this place there, like the national forest. 
that has the entrance. Every time we come by, there is always somebody standing, so the game loads at least one more person to be there. Okay, so we traveled through. We've never been through um, this little thing. There is like an extra entrance, so maybe we can clear path with Machete and see how it is. Okay, so Machete is gone. Oh, Kibaras. Well, now we can wave around the flower. The rodents and the bees. Zoe waves the flower around to attract the bees' attention. The bees waste no time heading away for an attack. Thinking quickly, she tosses the flower over a waterfall and the bees follow it right over. She breathes a sigh of relief and sits down on a nearby log. Something glimmering catches her eye. It's a treasure! Oh, there's bats. Oh, this looks so cool. Ah, it's not... it's the bees. But I also like how when you go here, you don't see the forest behind. Okay, so we traveled and we have like a new... Ah, that's the airplane crash! And there is a treasure chest as well. Let's see what kind of treasure we got from... Oh, we got the frog! Oh, it's 8,000 simole... 8,900 simoleons. Is it very rare? It is very rare one. Oh, we were just talking about the collection and I was like, it's frogs? Like, I, I said it, but I didn't believe it. Expertly crafted by a master Omiskan jewelry. Wow, actual treasures that we can bring home. This is super cool. Oh, I love the animation. Oh, Zoe found some wondrous items in the tre... <laughs> no way. I can't believe this happened to me. I like how it changed also here. Let's read what it says. Zoe found some wondrous items in the treasure chest and the Omiskan gods have bestowed a blessing upon her. She gained some simoleons and put some adventure gear in her inventory. Hit the high point from re reaching a high point in the jungle. Reaching new heights makes one feel they can accomplish anything. Blessing of bones from being a skeleton. Zoe has been blessed with a temporary transformation into a being of bones. With less to worry about while in the skeletal form, she may be able to get a few extra things done. Got it. So, I guess... Oh, her needs would be at maximum. Or they became a maximum. I guess we'll see. Zoe has been blessed by being a skeleton. This will last a short time. She should be careful with meals. It doesn't look like there is a stomach to catch that food. That's so funny, but also cool. I like the treasure chest. Treasure chest, I was wondering if there will be one, and there is one. And then there are two, three things to excavate, so not bad overall. Oh, Doi now has the knowledge and experience to authenticate artifacts herself. Okay, she can do it on archaeology table, and she got one artifact shaped dirt clump. That is so weird. Oh, now she got flirty. Feeling the falls from being near a scenic uh, waterfall. I just want more treasure chests at this point, because this frog of 9000 simoleons really made it worth me buying. Made it worth me buying everything. Oh my god, she's being attacked by the bees. Ah, but she doesn't have the flower anymore. So now she's gonna get the virus. Correct. Normal bee sting hurt, but bee stings from the jungle are beyond painful. Ah, I guess she won't get the moodlet of being like sick sick, you know? And she doesn't need to go to toilet, which is great. So we can travel to the next stage at this point. We still have so many ways to go to. How about we try to... This path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on the strip. Next vacation it will open. Huh, interesting. So we cannot visit it this time. So there's this and there's that. Let's travel this. Oh, we cannot. Okay, we can do this with Machete. So let's do this one. But I thought this one is the one that brings you to the um, bath thing, no? Abandoned campsite. Okay, she can do arm self with insulation powder. A wild chase. Zoe cautiously approaches the campsite, armed with insulation powder, as a form of protection. Nothing seems to be amiss, so Zoe helps herself to an artifact that appears to be abandoned. Suddenly, a wild-eyed seam rushes her. Zoe sprays the insulation powder in the crazed seam's face and escapes with her prize. Oh, we are going to the temple! Okay. Let's do it. I am so excited for this. This is going to be so good. 
I think so at least. So the center one is the temple. So do we need to examine three traps? Oh, this looks so good. Oh, they... Wait. Oh, wow. Look at all those hidden things. Somebody really put a lot of hard work into creating this and... Oh, here. No, don't try to pass. We need to examine stuff. Wait, where is she going? Oh, this was weird. Oh, this was so cool that we had to swim through. Oh, yeah, we did the first one. Zoe figured out that some of these triggers won't work to unlock the gate, but that doesn't rule them all out. Zoe could try her luck by activating a trigger or keep examining other mechanisms ah there are more of them okay i examine them make offering to sandly okay level four of archaeology whoa what a rush zoe has gained some archaeology skill for narrow for narrowly avoiding disaster well she turned back to be herself let's try to see what we can activate here okay so three gleams oh zoe has bypassed the temple's defenses and the gate has opened Zoe can now venture further into the temple to find what rewards await. Oh, absolutely, yes. Oh, this is so interesting. Let's examine this. Oh, milestone complete! Yeah, right, I mean, we're examining a trap, so I should have remembered that. Then we need to achieve level 5 Salvadoran culture skill. Wow, that's gonna be difficult. Defend against two natural dangers. Okay. Assemble a mystical relic. Oh, wow, look at our inventory. We have all those vases for different money. Oh, this is so interesting. I think... I didn't think I would like archaeology, but now I kind of want to try the archaeology skill as well. Let's try to activate. Tell skeleton pun. Let's try skeleton pun. Didn't work. Blame for temple dangers. Oh, we did it! Zoe has bypassed the temple's defenses and the gate has opened. Zoe can now venture further into the temple to find what reward awaits. Oh, we got the skeleton dust. Put in inventory. Put in inventory. Put in inventory. Examine this. Oh, there's so many things here. The deeper we go, the better. Okay, and then we can examine also that. Oh, I absolutely love this. Zoe must be flirty to activate this plate. Okay, let's get flirty. Playful flirtiness. Eat Flutterberry. Okay, and we can step on the plate with flirtiness. A wrong activation. The temple is punishing Zoe by making her so hungry. Too bad there are only skeletons walking around here, nothing with any meat on it. Compliment carvings. Oh, okay, cool! Oh, cool! This is so cool. I love this. Let's dig. I'm very curious about this. And I'm very curious about what's gonna be next. Middle Warrior's Weapon. Let's do it. Oh, it opened! It really feels like I'm in some like different game. Archaeology level 5. Zoe can now analyze genuine artifacts, treasures and fossils and extract elements from metals and crystals on the archaeology table. She can really do many things now. Okay, let's open treasure chest. We have three treasure chests here and I love those. And I like all the decoration, like all those vases, they, they really give some type of mood. Wait, what did she get? She took an artifact and some adventure gear. Temple exploration complete! Zoe found the ultimate treasure of the temple. She should take a look around for other discoveries before leaving. I guess she got some artifact that is like very expensive. Or oh, she got sprouts of fire. Those treasures are incredibly expensive. We got like basically just rare items here. Where do I get the not rare items? From archaeology? Oh, wait. Temple guardian Ulna Hueso. Salvadorian introduction, absolutely. Oh, cool! No, we cannot really do much. I also wonder if the temples are different. I just put her to bed, she cooked a grand meal and ate it by herself. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure maybe Father Winter will be coming. Father Winter is already here. This is so cool. Let's let's ask him for a gift. Ask for present. Oh, she did. Godzilla brand sparking new gift. One on one powerful PC. That's a pretty good one. Maybe she can ask him for advice, for example. There are things we can do with Father Winter. Maybe we can do a little bit of flirting. She's a newly single woman, why not? Maybe just ask him for advice. Oh, she's a friend. They became friends. Maybe we can kiss under mistletoe. Think about. Maybe show pictures again. I don't know, there are so many things I'm trying to do. Let's do Kiss Under Mistletoe. The local salutation. Kiss hands. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. No, never mind. Maybe we can light this. Oh! Yeah! Oh, where did she learn this? Oh. Ah, ah! Ooh, la la! <laughs> did she yeah. always knew how to dance to this? Oh. I think she learned it there. Ah. I don't think she knew how to dance like this before. We did, that we need to do Salvadorian culture skill to level 5. And for this we really need to go to the market. She became pretty cool with all this flair to her. It's really funny. Now no, knows how to cook many of the dishes that she, that she tried. She knows how to dance and um, apparently knows how to do archaeology even without like touching archaeological table even once, which is quite impressive, not gonna lie. But my favorite part is all those relics that you can keep because you had some, you had an archaeologist in your family and potentially for gameplay and for storytelling you could have a museum with those relics inside. This would be super cool. Let's again... Oh, okay. Max skill. Okay. So it's actually a small skill. So it's only five levels. Rich Salvadorian culture skill level five. Zoe can now pass as a local and can write travel guides on the computer. She can order off the secret menu at food stalls and market tables. She has even learned the local secrets to avoiding fireflies and lightning bugs in the jungle. Oh, that is so cool! That was very interesting. And there's a secret menu apparently that we can order from, which I'm very curious about, not gonna lie. Dance the Roomba scene. And it's they're listening to Latin pop there. Ah yes! It is this dance that she learned there. Oh, she learned it because of this. I love this. Oh, she, oh wow, he is much better. Look at him. <laughs> Order food from the secret menu. Beleada, curanto, and feijoada. I really want the curanto. Myself, I would have that. Show me what is this? What is curanto? Oh, yes. This looks like... <laughs> She's so happy! <laughs> Miss her curando! Okay, this is very funny, because this one only has machete, flower and machete. So let's get it. Oh, and this part is over. Luckily we managed to get two more machete. So anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. It was actually full of stuff. I mean, actually this whole experience of traveling is full of different activities which I really enjoy and they're very new. In a way it's difficult to always implement those in the game, but like it's great. I really enjoyed the pack so far. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe, click like and leave a comment and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye!